Anyway, sorry. This is the actual last level. Okay, so let's play this Wolverine because we haven't played as him, right? Yup. Okay. Let's at, slash some stuff. Like, question pow, mark. Pow. Okay. Ha! <laughs> okay. Okay. Look how short Logan is. He's adorable. I love him. My husband is really sexy. Oh wow! I just said husband. He's like so crouched down. Yeah. Apparently, you guys got married. We got yeah. Wow. We got married between issues ten and eleven of Mutant Ages, the comic book. Yeah. Apparently, you did. I don't know. I really no. We're not. I can tell. I can go ahead and spoil you all and say that's not what's gonna happen. But yeah, you're not married yet. No. Yet. Oh my god. Freaking air cars. Why wow, is that it? This game. I think so. Did not yeah. try it. Yep. There's Mojo. <laughs> okay, Look, this game's so easy. I don't. What, he's like you're already at he, the final boss of the entire game. His scorpion tail isn't even a scorpion tail. This it's just like a really long plug. Yeah, he's just like. Poke! Poke! <laughs> Good thing I'm just jumping and... Okay, why is Logan taller than Mojo? That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Mojo should be way bigger than that. Okay, well, anyway, that well, was... Well, okay, I guess that's, uh... This I guess is that's great. the end. Uh, so... Where is Shard? Hello? Yeah. Why did they leave Shard out? I don't know. I also don't know why Rogue is paired off with Havoc in the background. That seems strange. She's posing so beautifully. She is. She also, should be paired off with Gambit. Okay, I'm and having oh, and Shard Gambit? there. Gambit's, Gambit and Shard just aren't included here. Okay. Well, I can, I will say that it's funny that Logan's bending over and looking at Cyclops's Cyclops's dick. dick. Yep. Which is bulging. Also, you by can the way. see Cyclops's entire dick. Uh, yeah. What's up with that? I mean, no wow. complaints. Well, <laughs> I do Cyclops enjoy that Logan's proud of his boner. Out. He's like, this is the only thing I'm capable of. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, so that was the entirety of that game. Um, uh, what did you think about it? Well, I enjoyed that it was shorter than the other two games that took us several weeks to play. Several weeks to finish, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, this. I feel like this explains why there's so many Let's Plays of this one, because it's way easier and way shorter. Right. So you can just play it in an hour and be done. Yeah, so you could probably fun. play it without using the cheat codes, because I know we use them, but like, other than that level Cape Citadel... I feel mm -hmm. like it would have been easy to just jump over everything. Whereas the other games, yeah, like, that I mean, was not I the case. think some of the bosses would be hard, but with save states, you could just figure it out. I wonder if so. It was yeah, the same I mean, in, in a way, I feel like if you're going to play a Game Gear game, this is the one to play because it's like kind of bearable. However, the music is Storm's not, not in it. Yeah. Storm's not in that it. That is the music an oversight is on their part. Game Gear music. The rece reception says the four reviewers of Electronic Gaming Monthly said that the graphics are strong. And there's a good selection of characters, but the game is but the game is not fun to play due to its cliched mechanics, frustrating platforming, and enemies which take a tiresome number of hits to kill. Only Sushi X defended the game, saying it is not a great game, but it's interesting enough to be worth the cost for players who refuse to let the game gear die. Okay, hmm. it scored a four point five out of ten. That's I a mean, failing grade. So. Well, I I don't even feel like we can say who's gay here because I feel like it's not. Yeah, really a complex enough well, game for I mean, that. I mean, a... supposedly it was in Mojo World, but like that plot was barely even in there. You know. Right. I also like that I'm the only high score because I'm the only person who who has played this game so ever. Yeah, ever in the history. Also, of time, it's a game over, comma X Men. Like, I think that game really over X Men. Right. Uh, okay, so here we get the game credits. Um, Jerry Makota, good job. Um, don't know any Paul of these Hutchinson. Other people. He did everything. Kim Bosco. It just looked, Kim Bisco. Go down to the last three credits, and it's all Paul Hutchinson. Wow. The story. I'm sorry. What story? Where was there a story? Sorry. At least the other Apologies game. Apologies for no, laughing at that. I'm but, not, uh... because they're, in the other two Game Gear games, there were at least, like, pictures at the beginning of each yeah. level. What happened? And it would, like, tell you what the level was? <laughs> this one felt pretty phoned in. It was, like, level four. See what you what it is. Lots There's a testers. bunch of testers. I'm I appreciate that the testers even got a credit in this game. Like that doesn't yeah, even happen. I mean though. that's nice. Oh, Sega. There we are. We're back to the beginning wow, of this Sega. beautiful game. Okay, there she is. There's Shard. There's Shard. Yeah. Looking good. Still no Gambit. Gambit just isn't there. Gambit is busy. Rogue's eyes look like she's a demon. Uh congratulations and to Game Gear uh for doing <laughs> whatever that was. Yeah. <laughs> 